guys, and welcome back to The Plant. I'm Chris Bowden, and today I'm gonna to show you how to kickstart a hydroelectric turbine. All right, guys, so now that we're down here in the hole, while the water's moving through, we've only got about a foot of head pressure at the moment, so we're gonna do something that you don't get to see every day. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have a little fun here. I can't make the turbine move because of how little water is moving through, so we're going to give it a little bit of a jump start. What we're going to do is close the wicket gates, bring the water up just a few feet, and then open them. And this will give you an idea of just how much water moves through here, and maybe we'll get to see the turbine start up from zero. Bring the water up when you're ready. All right, so we're going to begin by closing the wicket gates. You can see they're starting to close there. Now this is gonna stop the water going down the hole, but it's not gonna stop the water rushing into the room. All right, now at this point, the wicket gates are completely underwater. And what we're doing is charging our gravity battery because the water is now just filling up the room and you can see, it's coming up the ladder. There goes another rung on my ladder. You can see it got a lot quieter in here, which is really quite lovely. It got a lot quieter because now the water is up to our level. In just a moment, it's gonna get completely silent in here because the water will level out. You can, you can see just how far down the ladder I can go. And we're nowhere near close to full. We can go another three, four feet, but this is all the water we have in the canal. We can only bring it up a foot a day. So this is as high as we get. So I'm gonna show you what happens when you flush the toilet. And here we go. So there's, there's the, the ceiling of the room. All right, Bootsy, jiggle the handle. to see all that often. You are now under a hydroelectric power dam at the bottom in the intake with water actually moving through it. And that's the turbine spinning. 